It's gonna be the bad guys from the first episode, isn't it? The little um, party. Boom. Oh, we know we did that. Fuck sake, I learned all the options on. Oh, it's a dad. Yeah, it's fucking dream scene again. Dad? Can we stop with these fucking dream scenes, man? Take the fucking piss. I wonder if it burned like this the day the day it happened. Do I even like, like marshmallows? marshmallows? Dad? What are we doing here? Some strange thing these ones. Is it's literally just a story of like uh, Rachel and Chloe's story. Are you trying to tell me something? Like, there's no actual effect on it. This is a prequel. Why do we look somewhere else? Let's go. Ah, big kid, obviously. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, I can't so. look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds I us. I am the danger. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. What the fuck is going on? Incredible. Man? Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? This. <laughs> of getting burned. Alright. Get burned up. section yeah, it's actually so I'm like Max it hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette you could start a fire <laughs> So, are you gonna invite me in, or what? Mm, fuck it. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. 
kiss, 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 kiss. Thanks. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A cool blue light? <laughs> Look at that little dude. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. So, I mean, it's not about you, though. <laughs> like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought yeah. you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still well, am. If you're I guess. You guess? You don't say that. It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> That Wells meeting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I, I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Whatever. Upset. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Well, you know, it was pretty wild. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. Uh, I, was I didn't expect the whole stupid uh, park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. <laughs> he announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Hmm. Hmm. Well, therapy sesh. Well, Doc. Doc. It's gonna be his options, I'm guessing. Yep, very good, but no. Nah, who gives a shit about David? Um, fuck it, we'll go. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This well, she's perfect <laughs> friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. <laughs> that makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. What's Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. 
Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Written this. We'll go with the fire. Hey, we'll chances are pretty soon this entire town will be burnt to a smoldering pile of ashes. So, you know, things are really looking up for us. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Whoa, are you fucking fancy, Manche? Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Fuck it will be all. You just need bullshit. someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. <laughs> you know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? <laughs> it's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? <laughs> you're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. It is, isn't hey, it? I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, junk sack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. This is the that was near with as well. Cutting edge in junkyard security technology. So that one already turned on, that makes sense. Sweet camera. Well, that was a bit easy. Shit. Look at that. It's Tapest time to talk about the elephant Tapest in the room. Tapestry. This elephant. Fucking rules. A bag full of clothes. <laughs> yes, I need those. I like how Dad's just cheating and it's like just chill. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Hmm. 
classic classic oh no he pumped a hot dog bang in I thought I tried that one eh? hot dog man it won't be an actual hot dog still though look oh, I was off shit like a big ass hot dog yeah fuck it we'll go with that Hot dog, hot dog, a diggity dog. Ah, ring check. Oh shit, see you. Concrete, yes. Keep forgetting about concrete events. Trophy, that's why it's big. Finny on the left. Chloe was here. It's, um, something on the floor. So let's see what Frank's gonna do then. I haven't even seen anything about them too actually yet. Well that's not hanging on to anything. Just won't get his dark. Now I just need a photo of David. <laughs> See Frank Bowers. Frank Bowers. Who else is called Frank Bowers? Frank Bowers. No, it's um something about it, isn't it? Pretty much. Well. That's that? the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Uh, she's getting around. Frank Bowers. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. So, who the fuck's called Bowers in a TV show? Drugs? Bowers. Christ, get your ass in here. Am I thinking Bayers? Strange things. Bowers. I don't know. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Look up! Big kid. God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Oh, shit. Is he going? Now I'm fetching things for Frank. Oh, so Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's an insane amount of beans. <laughs> Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys soup. No, I wasn't free that square call. <laughs> Got it. I read home as well. It's always true. Surrounding the northern part of Arcadia, <laughs> but not advancing toward it. Unusual indeed. What causes a fire to behave that way? I don't honestly know. Right now, we're doing everything we can just to keep it contained. A betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars. Same as the intro. Ugh, gross. Cool. Even me. drug dealers need reminders. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Let's just call this image. Why do you need to go? Fight the power. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Fuck it now. Oh! Wait. Ah. Jeez. That's an expensive dump. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. <laughs> I don't even know what it meant. I thought it was serious. I 
guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. So let me look at us at Part of a balanced breakfast. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we just fucked off Rachel. Well, she already fucked off anyway. What? Crap. Hey there. <laughs> it's okay, little guy. Ah. Oh shit! Pompadour, get up here! Oh. Pompadour. You little killer. instrument of death. Frank and his BFF. That's a throne fit for Frank. Because Frank finally gave up on the stake. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Ugh, shit. I'm in for red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. It's pretty obvious. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name. It's French. <laughs> Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Some of the quote means, don't I? Okay, so, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Pompadour, a hill with a flat top, that kind of thing. Rachel back would to, want to know more. Back chest challenge. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless challenge. to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. <laughs> Give me some credit. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna sure. tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so uh, I had this dream the other night about so, a cloud that that who swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too. See, huh. we're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? I'm, I'm not. Just hanging with a friend yeah. here. Once a friend left, I don't know much about. We, we secretly know. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh. How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about she, it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. She did. <laughs> Thanks for telling me whatever. whatever you hear the mill burn down yeah I uh, heard some stuff about it crazy my friend Damon runs the place he lost a lot of money last night money from what 
Well, mm -hmm. he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? <laughs> we'll give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football mm. players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Mm. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not shit. answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an he's unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. Grand? I'm okay, taking you nice. to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, I was thinking that's all. <laughs> yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? Idiot. You still owe me. 50 quid off. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. No, she. If you can't even do this price, a hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay with a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Wait, the audio fucking uh, subtitle them actually audio sometimes. Let's go. Oh, I wonder if they escape at the end of the episode series. Oh, definitely not a prequel game or anything. Be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Come hang around here during finals. There's gotta be some more. Make everybody jealous. Graffiti what spots. would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably, Probably not, not a dorm. That's all. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago some teenager got in trouble for carving faces <sighs> all over the thing? <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... Never. Never. Shh. Prick. Oh, go on. Can we do the sprinklers? What are you doing here? 
Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless oh, list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. Uh. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? <laughs> Damn straight. Yeah. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you You're might understand. Okay. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, no. it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? Yeah. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? I guess you were right. You need social skills. Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Oh, man, I mean, Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. I didn't mean to be mean. <laughs> but this is what happens when you're mean, eh? Will you whack some sprinkles on you? Oh, so we want to get this guy to move, don't we? Nice work, Samuel. Samuel. Oh, Samuel's still here. Such a nice, wide <laughs> door. <laughs> Though. It feels like it's missing something. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Chaos Fury. Oh, the game's fucking glitched up. I need to get this guy away Hey, from here, Samuel. Keeping, Keeping busy? busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't Fuck, think so you'd be returning on this to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. Uh, what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Rachel Drew Elliot. I've got to go. It's Evan over there, isn't it? It's not Drew. I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. You know strange you and nothing. A great heart. He has, with much love Man, I just and want to throw some no sprinkles on this stunning. for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that too. No one is just one thing. So, uh, <laughs> what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I'm just trying to get I only see you. what Elliot wants me to see. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want what the fuck? to keep hidden. And uh what what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. That's not true at all, man. It's okay. <laughs> Not to be okay, Chloe Price. So I'll say my full fucking name, you little prick. I think you know what I mean, shit. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber. There's only one way into the dorms. Rachel Amber and that's is a the dragon door. made of diamonds. That's uh deep. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably fucking me. Do you just make this shit up on the well. fly, or do you like write, write it down yeah, before. beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against fucking experiencing hell, true intimacy I'm with others? I'm trying to be nice with this Connor. He's just a fucking weird bastard. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I hey. often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. I need to fucking graffiti up the door, lad. Fuck's sake, um... 
So how can I sort this shit? Don't wanna go there yet, do I? Rachel looks awesome. She's going to kill it tonight. Talk to him. Just Ugh. Hey Steph. Whoa. Hey Calamastia. <laughs> Surprised to see me on parole. I told you Wells was out to get you. I don't know. That text was a rare courtesy, there. by the way. I get the idea. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, <laughs> yeah. So, what are you doing here? I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. <laughs> it's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty <laughs> impressive, too. Fuck me. She's you get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Uh. Okay. Now you just unconvinced me. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> we'll just go straight into Maybe the I'll see you later. Oh, I don't, hey. Uh, I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh, I mean, that's what? Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... She's single. Oh, shit. You sure? That's what I said. I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Right. I'm so annoyed I'm gonna miss this freaky spot. Let's go in here. Locked. Figures. Maybe not. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? It's very difficult for yourself. Evan's subject for the day. Better you <sighs> than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. No shit. But Evan is right there. Fuck me. Alright, let's get this fucking... Let's get the bed. Yeah. Lots. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as Fuck possible, sick. the other way. Doesn't matter, we're, we're being fucking stunned. Right, let's get this bitch. Fuck off! Time for a fresh start. Here we go. It's not gonna come back. To gotcha. Hey, look at that! Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Oh, 
Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Rambles. Chop, chop. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the door? Wait a second, yeah, I want to graffiti this. Grill piece of food. <laughs> and once we get into the dorms, I'll um, call it a trophy. Right, let's take the keys. Sorry, Samuel. Ooh, seven, though. All right, time to find Drew's room. Right, uh, yep, look out there. I believe that Sam was saving. <laughs> so, that's uh, so thank you for watching, and episode three, well, part three will be out soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.